story today is Cam Newton. So he was released by the Panthers. Now, according to Adam Schefter, Cam Newton passed a physical coordinated by the Panthers and his agents yesterday. So if, if this guy is healthy, how is some team not jumping all over him? This guy was not, well, not that long ago that he was an MVP. You tell me he's not better than, than Jarrett uh, uh, Stidman? Stidham. Uh, are you serious? I don't know. How are people not jumping all over Cam Newton? I, I know. I uh, you're going to get him on the cheap. But I, I think the, the New England situation is a little different um, because they, they we don't know what Stidham is. The only person that knows is Bill. And since we, everybody trusts Bill, then I, I guess you got to let it play itself out here because we, have, we haven't really seen him play to know whether he's got it or not. But for him to – I'm sure he's going to find some sort of a landing spot. Who needs a quarterback now? If, if New England's off the table because they love Stidham so much, who needs a quarterback? I just can't believe well, the thought. Well, let, let, let me ask you this. If you were the Colts, you'd rather have Phillip Rivers than Cam Newton? A healthy Cam Newton? I mean, am I... And we know he's healthy. That's what they just said, which, which makes his release all the more curious. So they gave, him a, they gave him a physical yesterday, he passed it, and then they released well, him. Doesn't that send up a red flag that the team that won with him didn't want to bring him back? Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a new coach who wants his own, uh, his own team. So he wants to rid himself of the pass. If you're, if you're the Giants, any team, let, let's say the guy really wants a job. How about, that? How about him for a backup quarterback? But I don't you even can't, know you can't have him as a That's backup. That's such a bad though. idea? But you can't have him as a backup. What was it, that? It, if he, it becomes like the Kaepernick situation. He's, he's too, if you, if you have, if, if you bring him into New York, to, for either team in New York, but either Jets or Giants, where you have an established kid as your starter, and something happens to that kid, particularly Sam, right? With what we've seen from Sam over the last couple of years, Sam gets hurt. He misses four games. During that four games, Cam Newton goes 4-0 and looks like the old Cam Newton. That becomes very tough to go back to Sam. It does. He, hasn't, he has not established himself enough to know that you would go back to him over all of a sudden a Cam Newton playing like his best self. Don, you disagree? No, I, I completely agree. Now, that, would, that would be very difficult when you have a young, up-and-coming quarterback and having a veteran that the fans are going to salivate over the second Jones or, 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 or Darnold make a mistake or have a bad couple of games. You know, where's Cam? Cam is going to be so over that guy's I... shoulder. Wouldn't, if you're the Bears, wouldn't you rather have Cam Newton and Nick Foles? Yes. That one if, I don't even remotely if, get. If you're telling me that he's healthy. Now, there's a there's difference in healthy. Like, he may have been cleared. He can play. But is there a feeling around the NFL that what you saw his MVP year, that ship sailed now? That because of the wear and tear, his age, he's never going to get back to that again. He's healthy enough to play, but not at the level that we think of with Cam Newton. That's probably the answer. We're judging Cam Newton based on the best Cam Newton. People that have to make decisions are not judging it on that. They're judging it on what is he right now. And if he's a shell of himself, Michael, then maybe Foles is a better option. Maybe Rivers is a better option. To me, it's just like, no. I don't know. I, I, how can anyone be sure that that version of Cam is gone? How can they be sure? Especially if we don't have a doctor's report that tells us that. How do you know that you that Cam is gone? He was well, too good. Guys, well, what, so what was so what's being suggested? We knew it was suggested with Kaepernick, right? There, there was an ulterior motive to not signing him. All right, Cam can be a bit much, but there doesn't seem to be anything on his resume that says he'd be a bad teammate, that he'd be a cancer to your room. So if people aren't jumping all over him, these general managers talk. They know the information. Maybe they scout him and say that this is not the guy that can make the throws he did before. He's serviceable, but he's not what he was. And they obviously have that information. Orlowski will be really good on this. He judges quarterbacks. The last time he saw Cam healthy, is that the same quarterback that went to a Super Bowl, that won an MVP? If the answer is no, then, 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 then that's the reason. Because there wouldn't be any other reason, Peter, right? There's... I don't think he's he's corrupted his character to the point where nobody's going to want him on their team. No, no, definitely not. No, definitely so, not at all. So with the Kaepernick stuff, there we knew there was something else going on. But with this, it's just strictly can he still play? And the, and 
the prevailing thought is is that he can't play at that level anymore. So I have a question. Did he end up having surgery last year? Was there ever think- surgery? Like, remember, there was a lot of concern about what was going on with him. Was there a, a serious injury that hadn't been addressed? Did we ever get to the bottom of that? Or is part of what's scary uh, he here? Had is, shoulder surgery. He did have shoulder surgery. So, I believe so. So, are we not going to be led to believe that he has a chance to bounce back? I just don't see why the level that he played at for like three seasons, this is not a guy who had a fluky kind of game. All right, let's not rewrite history and say that Cam Newton was only a guy who could scramble. Cam, when Cam was at his best, every part of his game was working. He was he was scary good from the pocket, could run, was accurate through the deep ball. At his best, the biggest question mark you ever had about him was heart, was like the moment in the Super Bowl where he didn't dive on the fumble. That well, was sort of the biggest question mark that ever existed around Cam. Well, he in December, he had foot surgery to repair a Liz Frank injury. So has he been cleared from that? And or is there a fear? Yeah, he's cleared, he can play, but we believe that that foot injury is going to massively slow him down compared to what he had done before. And as much as I respect his game, guys, if he can't be mobile, that definitely changes what Cam Newton is as a quarterback. But I don't think it changes him the way it does quarterbacks who we really think of for running first. Like, Cam as a pocket quarterback only to me is a quarterback that could be very effective and certainly better than uh, some of the options that teams have been, you know, a 2020 Phillip Rivers or Jared Stidham. I mean, maybe he's going to be great and we'll all be fools, but I, I think even minus the running, Cam's still in the conversation of someone you'd be very interested in getting a look at. 